My name is Anne Marie Seltzer, and welcome to Comfort Food, stories that will make you feel good. If you've ever dined at Upstairs on the Square in Cambridge, you've probably seen Mary Catherine Dibel chatting with customers and making sure that everything is running smoothly in the front of the house. She and her business partner, Deborah Hughes, own the restaurant. They've also owned its predecessor, Upstairs at the Pudding. But she's equally talented in another area. Today, I'm at Danahy Park in Cambridge to talk with Mary Catherine, the croquet player. Well, we used to go to Martha's Vineyard a fair amount. It was actually with an old boyfriend who was very, very involved in games. He remains a good friend, and he actually manages the games people play. Wonderful store in uh, Harvard Square. And he sort of got interested in croquet, having played it as uh, growing up, and we stayed at a little inn called the Pointway Inn that had a quarter size croquet court. So it was perfect to learn on. It was um, small, and the owner was this wonderful old gent, sort of a Yankee, um, who took great joy in drinking martinis with us and um, showing us the ins and outs of croquet. So that has been oh, at least 25 years, and that's a very tactical game. They say that it really takes uh, the skills of a billiard player because you're constantly dividing angles as you shoot two ball shots and chess because it's very much a strategic game and you're thinking one or two um, uh, moves ahead and golf because it's a game of touch and of muscle memory. I would say that any time that we play croquet we are very competitive. In fact I threaten my husband every Monday night that I, he will never get another dinner out of me if he insists on winning. And um, Reed, my husband, who was a seven-time national champion, USCA champion, and we met, who we met at, at the uh, regional croquet tournament in Newport, um, he, but he loves to win. He's a very nice guy, but he loves to win. It was just sort of love at first sight, and, uh, uh, but he lived in Vancouver, British Columbia. So it took us four years before we actually were able to get married, but we, we did see each other. It was a very romantic period of our lives because um, I don't know how I managed that, but we would meet each other at tournaments like in San Francisco or the wine country or Florida, and it was pretty fun because the heart, uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and it was a, it was a very lovely way to court um, through croquet. Like the restaurant business, it really need, you need to be able to work with a partner because you, you know, almost always, at least in, in the game we play here, um, it's often a doubles game. And so you do need to be able to communicate with a partner and to uh, work toward, a, toward a, a, a mutual goal. So if one person gets all the glory, you know, decides he or she wants all the glory, then your team is not going to succeed. This is Anne Marie Seltzer for Arlington Public News. Please join me next time for another serving of comfort food. Thanks so much for watching.